you guys. Good morning. It's about 5.25 a.m. And I am headed to Bethel for a conference and I'm really excited. I thought I would vlog along the way. So, waiting for my car to warm up. It's a little icy. It's a little icy out here. I may have to scrape my windshield. But here I go. Okay, it's finally light outside. It is uh, eight, about 8.30. So I've been on the road for about three hours now and I'm in a very small town. The gas pumps are the really old kind that don't have card readers. But I'm apparently still in Oregon because they pump the gas for me. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure what state I was in. Um, I hit some snow over the pass, but it uh, wasn't too bad. I did bring chains with me in case I needed to use them. So that's good. Let's see what else. I've been listening to music and catching up on podcasts. And I have about six more hours to go before I'll be there. I'm really excited. I can't believe today is already here. I've been looking forward to this for months and then weeks and then days. I was counting it down. I need to go get um, something from the back. So I've been getting a little car sick. I tend to do that, but I'm wearing my son's um, C-bands. They're, they're child size. They squeeze my wrist a little better. They help. I'm also using essential oils, peppermint, put it on my ears. That really helps in my stomach. I got a little roll on of it. Um, and then sniffing on it. Anyway, I feel fine now. It's just windy roads. Got snacks, my favorite chips, and a soda. I got some Zevia. That's what I'm going to drink right now. I don't usually eat eat a lot while I'm on trips because eating makes me tired, and of course it aggravates my motion sickness. So that's enough talking. Let's go. I finally got to Reading. It is 2:20 ish. Uh, the event registration doesn't happen until 3 p.m. and I can't check into my Airbnb until after 3. So I'm just sitting in a parking lot, Chevron, right across from the Civic Center, and waiting until 3 o'clock. I think my son is going to be getting home from school here in a few minutes and um, my husband and him are going to FaceTime me so I'll get to see them really soon. Anyway, I'm excited. The, the drive-in was beautiful. And I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I just I can't wait. So we'll see you guys soon. I made it to my Airbnb. I went through registration. I am just sitting on the floor. I just put my makeup mop makeup on in front of this huge, huge mirror, which I'll show you in a minute. It seemed more fun to do that than putting on makeup in the bathroom, which is right next to me. All right, I'm gonna show you guys around. Okay, just, I just flipped the camera. This is the big mirror. And the bathroom's right here. I took a quick shower. A little kitchen. It's a full fridge. And, 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 um, instead of a mini fridge. They didn't stock it. That's, that's not what I meant by full. You probably already knew that. And I got this really neat view out the window. So I had the coolest thing happen to me already. Standing in line for registration, there was this group of people um, walking past everyone asking if anyone had an extra ticket. And they just kind of skipped over me. So I turned around and said, do you need an extra ticket? Because when I originally registered for this event, I, regist I registered my husband too, because we were gonna come together, but it didn't end up working out. So I gave this lady my ticket and she was very grateful. They had actually flown in as a group from the UK, um, hoping by some chance that there would be an extra ticket. So I was happy to be a part of that. that so that was pretty cool. And let's see. 
Then I raced back here to check in, take a shower, eat dinner, and then I'm gonna head back. I don't know if I was supposed to wait there until the event started. I don't know, I've never done this before. So we'll see how busy it is when I get back and how long of a line there is. <laughs> the doors don't actually open until 5.30 and it's like um, quarter to five. So uh, I'm just gonna drive over there now and see what's up. Um, we got a huge workbook. I'm very excited about it. School of Healing and Impartation Workbook. Look at how big this thing is. I am so excited. I cannot wait. It's on the schedule. It's right here. So the conference lasts, uh, is Wednesday night, which is tonight, and then all day Thursday and all day Friday. And Sunday I want to attend an actual Bethel service since the conference is at the Civic Center and not at the church. I want to experience the church too and go to their books, the, their bookstore. Um, we'll see you guys later. You guys, I've been carrying around a plate in my purse that's in a bag. <laughs> this thing holds too much because then I just put stuff in there and forget about it. the second day of the conference. It's been going really well so far. I've been enjoying all the sessions, learning lots of interesting stuff, and seeing lots of people being healed, and it's been wonderful. They have a bunch of books for sale on the second floor in the lobby. Tons and tons of books. So I was able to walk through there today and look at all the books. One that jumped out at me the most um, looked really interesting. It was called Healing Energy. I did end up getting it, but but later. So after I... Healing Energy, whose energy is it? Sorry, I didn't finish the rest of the, the, rest of the title. Um, I went back to the conference and the next very next session was about that exact thing, about whose, whose energy is it anyway. Here's the book. Healing Energy, Whose Energy Is It? by Randy Clark and Susan Thompson. So Randy Clark is the guy who's teaching most of these sessions. Anyway, I found his presentation on this topic very informative and very interesting about alternative healing methods that aren't Christian, like Reiki and therapeutic touch that depend on a, a universal life energy. Um, that is manipulated by human will, which is definitely not in line with Christian theology about healing being from God and us not being able to manipulate that. Anyway, I, I, so I bought the book. I'm gonna read it, it's gonna be great. I might buy more books tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't feel any one other ones um, calling to me today but uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay guys, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Bye. With everything that we are. But what I wanna do to, this morning is I wanna get a, a deep value inside of us to go to the word of God, to begin to study the word of God, to begin to get the truth of the gospel inside of us, amen? 
Well, I'm back at the Airbnb relaxing. Um, the last session for the conference is tonight, and I should probably leave pretty soon, but I've had a little bit of time to relax, which I haven't had a lot of time to do that since getting here. The schedule has been kind of full. Some of the sessions have gone over, kind of overlapping into dinner and lunch, but Today I took my car to a mechanic because yesterday it started squealing whenever I'd turn the wheel and it was really hard to turn the wheel. Like the power steering was probably out completely when as I was turning it. And it turned out that was it was a bolt had fallen out of my car that was holding the belt in place and the belt had slipped. And so whenever I'd turn the wheel, the power steering um, pump stopped working. Anyway, the fix was really quick, and I was so happy for that. I did that over the lunch break today. And I'm so thankful that it's fixed because that squeal was so loud. Every time I drove the car, I would just be saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to everyone around me because it was like squealing really bad. But I'm so happy to have that fixed. So after this last session, I decided to go to Ace's Juicery and they have juices and smoothies and bowls, and I chose a juice. And this is the most amazing juice I have ever tasted. That's strange to say that, but it's amazing. It's called Jackie's Joy, right there. If you're ever in Reading, you have to go there and try it, or try another one. I don't know if this would be your taste, but it's got celery, pineapple, red apple, romaine, fennel, dandelion greens, parsley, lemon, and ginger. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. So I did that, came home, ate a little bit of dinner. I've been, I've been snack eating because I've been running out of the foods that I've brought. I had some chocolate, some Hue chocolate, and some cookies. And then my main course was a turkey stick. So I had juice and a turkey stick and a cookie and some chocolate for dinner. So I'm going to head back there in a little bit. I bought two more books today. The Power of Communion by Benny Johnson. I bought this for a friend. It looks really good. And then one of the speakers today was William Wood. He has an incredible story. If you ever have a chance to hear his testimony, uh, do it or hear him speak anywhere. Oh my gosh, it'll change your life. Anyway, when I finally got up to the bookstore to buy his books, because during the lunch break I had to run to the auto shop, um, everything of his was gone except for this book, which I was actually planning to get anyway, but it's called Walking in the Wilderness. And he talked a little bit about it in one of his talks today. I'm really excited to read it and I hope that I'm able to get all of the rest of his stuff. Anyway, that's, that's it for now. We'll see you guys later.